Hello and welcome to another Daily Text Reflection. Let us go to God in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and gracious Father, we thank you, Almighty God, for yet another day. Another day that you have made. Another day, Almighty God, that we can truly rejoice and be glad in, Almighty God. Regardless of what we face, Almighty God, we know that you are with us. and That you take care of us, Almighty God. That you have numbered the very hairs on our head, Almighty God. You know when we get up. You know when we lie down, Almighty God. You know when our bellies growl, Almighty God. You know when our stomachs are full. You know when we are in need. Or we know, and you know, Almighty God, when we have plenty. Because you have provided it all. So, dear Lord, we come this morning to receive a word from you, to be filled from your word, Almighty God. Speak to us today and grant us peace, Almighty God, in the midst of what we hear, so that, dear Lord, that we will know truly that you are with us, that you truly, you are Emmanuel, with us, present, not just with us, but taking care of us. We pray, Heavenly Father, that the lessons we learn today, Almighty God, or what we are reminded of today, Almighty God, will be a blessing to our hearts and to our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, so the passage I would like to read from today, again, the daily text I'm reading for today, reads as this from Matthew 6. 28 to 30, and also reading verse 31. I read thus, Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil or spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. Therefore, do not worry, saying, What will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? We repeat that again. Consider the lilies of the valley, of the field rather, how they grow. They neither toil or spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. Therefore do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? This, um, series of verses come in the midst of a broader thought of how God takes care of us. And the one of the questions asked was, or, or the statements made rather, was, O ye of little faith, don't you know that God knows? Don't you know that God knows? In other words, God is fully aware of all of our situation. God is fully aware of all of our needs. Even sometimes before we know what we truly need. Even before we can comprehend the situation or circumstance that we find ourselves in. God knows it ahead of time. And the passage is saying and declaring to us that God knows. And that God can and that God will take care of us. So he brings us back to consider, Jesus brings us back to consider the lilies, how they are taken care of. They were very simple plants, very wild plants. They weren't cultivated. They weren't grown by human beings. And no one went out and watered the lilies. No one went out and took care of them or pruned them or anything like that. But still yet, they were beautiful and they were taken care of. And Jesus draws the example between them and Solomon. Solomon, who was considered to be, yes, the wisest man that ever lived, but also considered to be one of the richest, if not the richest man that ever lived. And Jesus is saying, 
even this man with all of his wisdom and with all of his riches was not clothed like one of the lilies that did no work for it, did not toil for it, as the scripture says, nor did it spin. So did not toil, it did not work to be taken care of. Neither did they spin or make their own clothing, but God did. And God did it best. I want to and share with us and encourage us that God just said how he takes care of the lilies, will take care of us. What Jesus was challenging was our faith. What Jesus was challenging was our trust in God. Do you trust God to provide for you? Will, do, is it your first priority? In, in fact, in this very same um, um, chapter, he says, and he speaks about putting your treasure in heaven rather than on earth. Store not treasure in heaven rather than store not treasure on earth. Stop thinking about just what we need. God knows what we need. Now, this is not to say um, that we are to be careless and not have savings. Uh, we are to be careless and are lazy and not do any work. This is not what I'm saying. But I said, don't worry about it. Don't make it as your prime priority in life. Trust God. Know that God will take care of us. Know that when we seek God's kingdom first and his righteousness, all these things, the clothing, the housing, the food, the provision will be taken care of. God takes care of his children. The scriptures declare, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. God will take care of us and our children. Trust him. God will find some way. No matter how rich you are, how poor you are, no matter the color of your skin, no matter your situation, God can and will take care of us in this life and the next. Trust in God and he will take care of you I know some of you may be worried especially during this time of um, work um, jobs loss and how I'm going to provide uh, for my family but I am telling you just as God provided in the past he will provide today trust God God will take care of you God will take care of me have a wonderful and blessed day. Don't worry. Be happy. God bless.